Righto, Telio. Now, 4K gaming is pretty much mainstream these days, and now we have the graphics card to drive them. And this thing you're looking at now is the Dell 32-inch 4K gaming monitor, the G3223Q. So as the name implies there, it is a 32-inch 4K monitor. It's a 10-bit panel and 144Hz wharf. It supports FreeSync Pro and it has a 1 millisecond response time. So I think this is sort of like in the sweet spot there of size, 32 inches. And 4K monitor is becoming more ubiquitous these days. It used to be you can only do 4K 60. But now we can push 4K 120Hz and 4K 144Hz, which this monitor does. So depending on the game you play, you probably need a good graphics card to power this thing. Now it is an LED panel, 10-bit as I said, and it's very color accurate too, right? So you could use this for color grading and stuff like that that 400 nits is its normal brightness it's sd sort of brightness and over 600 nits peak brightness now i measured about 640 nits peak brightness so even more than it claims and around that 400 nits for just standard sd content the color gamut of 95 percent p3 checks out as well and it's like over 100 percent srgb so really good monitor in terms of you know color accuracy 10 bit 144 hertz it has everything you sort of want in that regard 200 HDMI 2.1s and DisplayPort 1.4, all of those inputs can drive this at 144Hz 4K. So it's not one of those weird monitors where, you know, if you use HDMI, you have to have a lower refresh rate. For the price point this is at, it's actually pretty good. Now, it is built pretty good. Looks pretty good if you ask me. The on-screen display is really good. You have some buttons on the back and a joystick, so it's easy to navigate, easy to use. I really like the displays with a joystick. On-screen display, you have a lot of settings, gaming-focused settings, but I will say one thing, you want to put it to overdrive on the extreme setting if you're playing fast sort of competitive sort of games now it's not an esport monitor and in actual fact my monitor which i think is the best monitor you can buy the best gaming monitor is an alienware qd oled one so a 34 inch widescreen one and even that's not an esport monitor but being led it's not going to be the super fast response you get with say qd oled that i have on the alienware monitor for me it felt a little bit slow unless you have it in that extreme mode so you put it in the extreme mode it's fine for first person shooters fast sort of games but when it wasn't in extreme mode so that's the overdrive of the panel did feel a tad slow compared to the QD OLED Alienware monitor but I mean every LED display feels slow compared to that so this thing is great even though I think that Alienware QD OLED is the best gaming monitor this thing here has one thing over that and that's the 4k resolution and it's 32 inches so a nice 16 by 9 size you get a matte coating I wish it was glass but yeah whatever for the reflections it is matte but the one thing it has is that extra resolution, right? 4K gaming is here with the latest graphics card, the latest AMD 7000 or the 4080, 4090. You'll be able to push 4K 120 in pretty much every sort of game. And extra resolution, 4K, you can see the sharpness, right? And that's what this thing is good for. This is good for general gaming, I would say. If you want just the highest fidelity, crispest sort of 4K gaming experience yeah i mean this one is really good for that now it tilts side to side up and down so you'll be able to get it to where you want it there's no flipping this one to portrait it doesn't have speakers it does have usb so you can connect usbs to this so two usbs on the bottom left hand side but at the end of the day what is it like to game with it well it's actually epic it's really good as i said compared to my qd oled it feels a little bit slow when it's not in extreme mode but in extreme mode as good as LED displays get, the resolution's nice, you know, it gets up to 600 nits peak brightness there, so you can have it in HDR mode if you want. I prefer this in SD mode, to be honest, because it's not the 1000 nits peak brightness that you get with the QD OLED, but you'll still get HDR experience if you want to enable that. So this is a great monitor for like adventure games, you know, Warzone, anything but sort of eSports sort of stuff. 4K, I wish they'd make a 4K QD OLED, to be perfectly honest. 4K is just crispy. It is really good, and 32 inches is really good as well. It's a nice size, and you're backed by Dell, so you get the warranties 
with Dell and look, I've actually damaged Dell displays and they've replaced them. So yeah, good support they have there. So you can't go wrong with these Dells. And if you want 4K gaming, just make sure you have a good graphics card. Do your research. I mean, if your game, it's sort of weird. You could run eSport titles at 4K, no problems, even with a sort of weaker graphics card, but this is not what this is for. But if you just want to play normal AAA titles and you just want that crispness of 4K, this is the go. Now, what's the downside of this? I wish it was gloss. Please, it would be much better if it was gloss. But that's my personal sort of preference there. And I guess for this price point, I mean, there's not much really to pick on. I mean, it's good. And yeah, 4K gaming for the masses. Uh, let me know what you think. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.